What is going on, YouTube people? Northeast Ohio Cards and Comics here. For a little news, a little breaking news here. On the eve of 2022, well, almost the eve of 2022, PSA has announced regular service is back and now open. The interesting part here, now we all knew that this was coming. This is no surprise. This has been teased, you know, uh, rumored, whatever. We all knew this was going to happen, and they even said that it was going to be this week. So I almost didn't even make this video, but then I dug in a little bit and looked, and there's a couple interesting things here. First, declared value has gone up from $1,000 to $1,500. Good, nice move. Second, no caps, no restrictions, send whatever you want, send as many as you want. Right, first sentence, regular submissions are now open at $100 a card with no submission limits. And they also say that it will be processed in less than 90 days while still putting 80% of their capacity at the backlog. And then also a note that economy and lower price service levels will be reopened in 2022 using queue-based submission events. So, a couple big things to take away there. Declared value going up is nice. That makes room for more cards that you could send at this level. Two, 90-day return turnaround time. Not great, but if they can actually hit 90 days consistently and you know that you're going to get it back in less than 90 days, that's not bad. You can plan for that. Send the correct cards on the correct time frames, all that jazz. Uh, and then the T's that you know, which we kind of knew lower level price prices will come back in 2022 with the submission style events. So they tested that out last week with that, you know, $50 deal, get in, get out. The interesting, the most interesting part here is, is that this is just wide open. Just come at us, bring us whatever you want, whatever you need, send it our way. And we got you covered. I am guessing what happened was they looked at, so this has been open the group submitters for a few weeks now with caps of cards. And I haven't paid a ton of attention to those, but I'm guessing the demand there, what they saw on that side was not as great as they thought. Because originally we all thought the $100 submission level would come back with the queues and all that jazz. Uh, but this is just wide open. So I'm guessing the demand at $100 a card is not as great as maybe they thought it was going to be, or they were worried that it was going to be too high, and they wanted to kind of feel out the waters first before they open this up. But I'm sure that they have the data or the research to, to justify opening it up with no restrictions on it. So, you know, we'll see how this goes. You know, do they get to the point where they need to add restrictions? I'm sure that they will if it gets that way, that the backlog that looks like they're starting to accumulate a backlog. But as we've talked about a lot, $100 a card at a three-month turnaround time versus $150 a card express level at, you know, a two- to three-week turnaround time. You know, what cards make sense at the $100 level versus just paying the extra 50 bucks and getting it back a month faster um, or just paying less and using one of the other grading companies depending on what it is that you're sending in? My guess is, and just based off, you know, research and, and general vibe from the community is, Yes, people have cards that they'd like to send at $100 a card. They don't have a ton of them. Not a ton of things make sense at $100 a card, but some stuff does make sense at $100 a card. You know, if I was sitting on, once again, I, I've used this example before, baseball stuff, I would probably send it at $100 a card. If I was sitting on, you know, as we get ready to open up football product, you know, Prism Football is going to be coming with Trevor Lawrence rookies, Mac Jones rookies, that sort of stuff. Those are things that I would consider sending in at $100 a card instead of $150 because getting it back in two weeks and it having it be in February because that product's not even out yet doesn't make a ton of sense. Whereas getting it back in two to three months around the NFL draft or slightly before the NFL draft does make a lot of sense. So, you know, those are the sort of things that you need to consider here. But once again, PSA regular service is back, 100 bucks a card, no restrictions, send it all, $1,500, well, $1,499 declared value, um, 90 day or less turnaround time, and that would be business days. Keep that in mind, that's 90 business days. So technically that's probably about four months in real time. 
Uh, and it does say less, you know, depending on, on what they get in. We'll see how hard they get hit with this. Uh, and then economy and lower price services reopening in 2022 as a tease. So we will see what happens. It will be interesting to monitor how the turnaround times on the regular service stuff goes. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Lots of content on the channel. Recently had the really awesome live stream last night with a bunch of different guests uh, doing the top five best and worst things posted yesterday and today. Got a bunch of other stuff coming out the rest of the week. Kind of like, sorry for like the content overload it feels like lately. And now I'm dropping this on you guys. So we'll keep this one short. Like, comment, sub. Catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.